Hello friends, EVJ company keeps gratifying us with new graphics cards and today we have a low cost model based on GeForce JT740. Nowadays a lot of buyers are willing to cut down their expenses on a computer and thus they attempt to a segment of low cost value cards. Obviously you can't do with the standard features of an embedded processor graphics core, but still a discrete video card has a number of advantages. Firstly, in most cases it ensures a higher productivity. Secondly, the video card has its own memory, thus we have no need to spend the money for additional random access memory. It also features an expanded set of video outputs. Graphics card EVGI GeForce GT740 2GB Superclocked has a number of additional bonuses, including compact design and a single-slot cooling system, so the new card could be installed in small-sized cases. It also features factory overclocking of the graphics processor. The card is supplied in the brand cotton packaging, which is mainly of grey colors. The supply site includes DVI to DSAP adapter, a software CD, and a brief manual on installation. EVGA GeForce JT740 2GB Superclocked is built on a compact PCB, which height is only 112mm. The key element is a graphics processor equipped with a protective frame. Such design ensures chipping prevention when installing or removing the coolant system. It's cute that the GPU power subsystem includes one face only. Such design is quite obvious regarding the declared low power consumption of this card at 64 watts. Thereby, there are no connectors for additional power supply. The new product is based on 28nm graphics chip NVIDIA JK107. It includes 384 CUDA cores, 32 texture units and 16 rasterization units. The GPU frequency makes 1059 MHz at nominal conditions, just as the reference rate is 993 MHz. The memory is assembled with 8 Samsung DDR3 chips. The base separation frequency is 667 MHz and the effective frequency is 1334 MHz. Data exchange between the graphics processor and the memory is carried out through a 128-bit bus with a bandwidth of 21.3 GB per second. The interface panel includes the following connectors. The tested model is equipped with a small-sized coolant system, which occupies only one slot for expansion cards. The total length of the video card is 179mm, as measured in our lab. A small radial protechnic fan with blades of 53mm in diameter is used for air flowing. An aluminum radiator has direct GPU contact through a thin layer of thermal paste. The graphics core heated up to 61 degrees at automatic speed control of the fan blades and at maximum load. The cooler was operating at 49% of its maximum power. The noise was below average and was comfortable enough for continuous computer operation. While idle, the cooler proceeded to silent operation, speeding at 30% of its maximum power that made 2050 rounds per minute. The GPU temperature reached 31 degrees. At first, let's compare performance of EVGI GeForce JT740 2GB Superclocked with parameters of integrated graphics card at Full HD resolution. Intel HD Graphics 4600 of i7-7770K processor turned out to be behind by 25% on average, and the lack of AMD Radeon R7 graphics, which is the video core of AMD i10-7800 processor, is 1.5% on average only. Comparison analysis of discrete graphics cards showed quite predictable results. Cheaper, NVIDIA GeForce JT730 with 2GB of DDR3 video memory got behind by 24% on average, and a bit more expensive AMD Radeon R7 250X got ahead by 110% on average. That is primarily due to GDR5 memory, regardless its smaller capacity of 1GB. As a result, EVGI GeForce GT740 2GB Superclock allows playing many modern games, yet only at resolutions lower than Full HD and at low or medium graphic settings. The overclocking was performed by brand utility EVGI Precision X 5.3.10 and we managed to increase the core voltage from rated 1075 to 1125 mV. In this case, the base frequency of the graphics core grew from 1059 to 1239 MHz. 
the gain by at 17%. Also, the memory frequency was increased up to 837 MHz, or 25.5% gain. During overclocking, rotation speed of the coolant system fan was fixed at a maximum level, and the GPU temperature did not exceed 63 degrees. The average gain in processing speed might almost 25%, which is an excellent result that ensures more comfortable playing level of some games. Testing results of Vario Card EVGI GeForce JT 742GB superclocked single slot showed a number of interesting points. Firstly, it has a significant GPU overclocking with an increased frequency of 1059 MHz. Moreover, we have managed to obtain a high increase of this parameter in our lab and it might well 139 MHz. Secondly, despite its small size and single slot design, the installed cooling system provided effective cooling of the inner key components. In addition, the cooler has also featured more comfortable noise level at rated frequencies in automatic mode. As for the productivity level, the model can deal with many current games, but only at low screen resolution, less than Full HD, and at low or medium graphic settings. If you are just looking for a gaming model in this price range, then we would recommend you to consider versions with DDR5 memory, because this is the DDR3 memory that restricts potential of the tested card. Best regards to you and do not forget to subscribe to our channel. Bye-bye!